So this is the new Volvo B5 RLE Euro 5 Hybrid. The bus is here to, to prove the technology, to prove the fuel savings that are capable from this type of technology, and also to show the environmental benefits for passengers and travellers in the, in, the in the inner city area. Um, that's primarily around drive-by noise and emissions. The Wellington's a tough environment to operate in. Um, the topography here is, is somewhat unique. But the bus that we're going to run here has actually been in New Zealand now since November 2015. Um, the results we're seeing from the bus is our use of diesel fuel down by around 40%. And we're seeing that in general operation that the bus is operating in the silent mode or the full electric mode for almost 30% of the time it's on road. There's a lot of passengers will notice. This bus will switch itself off whenever it's possible to do so. Um, it will shut the engine off and operate in silent electric mode as often as it possibly can. Um, and that depends upon the conditions which the bus is operating. If we're able to have a lot of start-stop cycles and the brake has been able to regenerate, uh, then that energy will be used for starting the bus rather than using the diesel engine. So that saves fuel, saves emissions and lowers noise. So passengers will find the noise level in this bus a lot lower. When the diesel engine stops, it's very, very noticeable uh, and it's very, very quiet as it starts in electric mode. Yeah, what makes this bus different is that we combine the use of our standard diesel engine, a five litre diesel engine, with an electric motor. And those two technologies working in combination, similar to like we've seen in passenger cars, are what make this bus a, a hybrid bus and allow it to operate in both the diesel and electric mode. So the back of the bus here, you're seeing two systems which are linked together. First of all, you've got a conventional four cylinder Euro 5 diesel engine, which is backed up by a 600 volt electrical system, which charges during regenerative braking while we're braking the vehicle and it stores it in a battery, which we'll show you on the left hand side of the vehicle. The great thing about these systems is that while they work together, if there's ever any issue in terms of a failure, the electrical system shuts down and you still have a conventional diesel bus. So they're exceptionally good for route reliability um, and ensuring that you've always got a bus available for service. Uh, the diesel engine in this particular bus meets the EEV or Enhanced Environmentally Friendly Vehicle Standards. The bus that we'll run in Wellington is an optimised solution where we have all the components of the bus working together to deliver a genuine outcome. Uh, in, in terms of fuel efficiency and reduction in emissions. The hybrid battery, the heart of the hybrid system. One of the misconceptions about hybrid electric buses are that the batteries are enormous and they're complicated. It couldn't be further from the truth. It's relatively small, weighs only 138 kilograms, yet provides 600 volts of tractive force. The battery is recharged, as I said, from a combination of the diesel uh, engine, the Euro 5 diesel engine, and capturing the braking energy from the vehicle every time the brake pedal is touched. And that's the heart of the hybrid system. I think the key at the moment, and, and one of the reasons why we're talking about hybrid buses today, is that we're on a journey towards the full electric bus, but we need to be realistic about the city's expectations. Cities expect their bus fleets in this part of the world to last for 15 to 20 years. Cities expect their buses to be reliable and, and deliver the services to uh, the travelling public in a reliable manner. So whilst there's lots of uh, options out there, finding optimised options that genuinely deliver on the fuel savings and the environmental targets is the key. So we're excited about having the bus here in Wellington. We are looking very forward to getting the feedback from both the public, from um, the uh, City of Wellington and the various stakeholders that are involved in running the transport in this particular city.